Well, we're all used to sending text messages, but what about face messages where your own digitized face actually speaks your text messages? The Wall Street Journal's Linda Freund introduces us to an emotional prototype known as Zoe. Siri, I'm sick of you. I found 15 doctor's offices barely close to you. Sick of the iPhone Siri? Say hello to Zoe. This digital talking head could be the next big thing in personal assistance. Until recently, I only had a voice. Now I have a synthesized face too. Last year, I could be very sad or be very angry. But this year I can be happy and afraid and even talk in a soothing way. Researchers at Toshiba's Cambridge Research Lab and the University of Cambridge's Department of Engineering previewed the prototype last March. Their quest? To replace text messaging with emotionally realistic face messaging. Am I a real person? Or am I just a computer model? I think I'm a bit of both. We're trying to create new types of user interfaces. And we, we made a system which allows you to type some text in, control an emotion, uh, set an emotion such as happy, sad or angry. And then we generate a video of a talking head, a person speaking, saying the text in that particular emotion. Don't forget mom's birthday. Have you got a gift yet? The program to run Zoe is only 10 megabytes, ideal for a smartphone. It's one of the many efforts to crack into the text message market, and for good reason. U.S. texters between the age of 18 to 29 sent an average of 88 texts a day in 2011, according to a Pew Research Group survey. So far, however, researchers say they have no plans to go commercial. Users will eventually be able to create digital avatars by uploading their own faces and voices. Personalized avatars are nothing new. Who hasn't seen James Cameron's film? Looks like you. This is your avatar. And since 2011, video gamers have used Microsoft's Xbox Connect to craft characters that look like them. Researchers respond their program, when finished, will create the most realistic avatars out there. The key, they say, is subtlety, achieved by using six simulated emotions. These are adjusted and combined, varying the speed and depth of the voice. I just hate spiders. I'm going to be late for dinner tonight. Sorry. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. For Digits from Asia, I'm Linda Freund.